All right, guys, we came all the way out here to Newark for you guys where uh, they have a situation. Uh, they have a fire in a vessel that's carrying some cars. Uh, they uh, have mutual aid from the entire area, many jurisdictions in New Jersey, including the FDNY. The FDNY rebreather just got here. Um, I don't know if they're going to be put in operation, um, but right now, uh, there's so many departments I can't even start to um, name all of them, but I'm going to show you, uh, the ship is over there, it's that big, uh, hold on a second, they're moving a unit here and I don't want to. They're bringing in more assets, I'm sorry. Mass Care Respond Unit number eight. Uh, these are all New Jersey Task Force. They have Elizabeth here, Bayonne, uh, Jersey City. They got the Gun Club is here. The Jersey City uh, OEM it looks like over there. Um, this unit, I always get a kick out of this unit. They got the uh, this is the Jersey City Gun Club, and this is the uh, Bayonne Canteen. Look at the blue light. All right, and then you have, uh, uh, this is uh, FDNY. Um, hey, buddy, how are you? All right. Chief, one of the chiefs that came from the FDNY. I don't know, I don't know if it's uh, Malcolm Moore or who came here. Squad 8 second pieces here uh there's the vessel and there's active fire in here i'm gonna show you from here and i'm gonna wiggle my way around but they really got this locked down uh they're moving all these assets around uh all the way on top right around there i'm gonna zoom in and you'll see the smoke pushing right there I don't know how much active fire is in there. It's an Italian vessel, Grande Costa Viavorio. It's the Grimaldi Lines vessel. I believe it's carrying cars. I believe that's where the fire started. Uh, I believe there's one member of the Newark Fire Department that's missing. Uh, early on, there was supposedly four, so I really don't know all of the details uh it's been going on for two or three hours at least uh so they have a very large presence here uh and uh they're working to rescue hopefully rescue the firefighter at this time they don't know what his condition is uh so forth and so on uh, rescue five from Staten Island it's already in there along with the TSU 2 and uh, like I said they're moving assets around uh, left and right I don't know what that unit Jersey City Fire Department some unit or the other they're moving the gun club And they're just gonna continue to shuffle units around. Here comes the uh, Jersey City. Uh, this is Mass. I can't read it. Mass Care Shelter Rehabilitation Unit. So I guess they're gonna put all the rehab units in here. And they continue to bring them in. All right. There's mass care one there. This one, I, I, I always get a kick out of this unit. I love this unit. All 
All right, I'm gonna poke around. I just want to show you some of the other units that are all over the place over here. Have some Newark ladders there, a couple ambulances, the news media is here, uh, State Farm Marshals, EMS of all sorts, New Jersey EMS Task Force. more New Jersey apparatus and a lot of seven looks like engine six New Jersey City has a few units here there's probably not gonna be a whole hell of a lot to see let me see that other one over there it says Jersey City Rescue Company One. A lot of EMS, a lot of EMS. University Hospital, Elizabeth Fire Department, Engine 6. I'm just going to show you the units. Newark Special Operations. Mostly, uh, Newark units. There's Elizabeth Rescue 1. A lot of rescues, they did the uh, USAR system, they called it the USAR system. And uh, they bring a whole bunch of rescues of all kinds from all over. <sighs> uh, New York Fire Department. Elizabeth, the Universal EMS Rescue, FDNY TSU, two, Elizabeth, I mean uh, Newark Rescue Squad, number one, Rescue five over there. They have got all locked up over there. All the rest of the units are inside doing the operations. Down there, nobody's gonna be let in that way. And they're still fighting the fire. You can still see the smoke up there and it's still pushing a decent amount of smoke they still have lines operating in there so we'll see if they put the um, FDNY rebreather in service I believe Marine 9 is here there it is right there that might be it I'm not sure yeah that's FDNY Marine 9 right there smoke pushing from up there. A lot of it's a lot of smoke coming from the top now. Some guy told me the fire spread to the top. But I don't know. Alright. I'm going to go around the other side and see if there's anything else to see. But there's not too much to see. And I'm going to monitor the uh, rebreather situation. 
three hours it's been going on. Uh, they got stoked baskets prepared and ready to go and a whole bunch of other material i'm gonna head back to the uh the front of this area here north fire department special operations marine hazmat usar port authority police unmarked units Tower 3, Elizabeth, more police. Uh, they're still working the logistics. So, like I said, the operations are going inside. They're gonna be extended operations. And uh, we'll be uh, over there waiting. Let's see what this is. This is another unit coming in. Okay. You can't really see much of the smoke either. I mean, it's very faint. A very isolated area, very industrial. Um, I just hope that they are able to get this gentleman out of there alive. Let me show you the smoke pushing again from the fire. Somebody said that the fire was out. I doubt that because they just said on the radio that they're still operating lines in there. Got floaters in the lens. You'll see them there on your left. Nothing I can do about that. I believe this was held at a second alarm, but I don't know how that works here in New Jersey. I don't buff out here often. I'm gonna go to the rebreather and see if they're gonna put it in operation. All right, I moved around and see if I can get rid of the floaters. There you see a better view. It might get floaters again. There are the floaters again. Anyway, it, it's pushing a decent amount of smoke. They might escalate this to more alarms, I don't know, but they got a lot of manpower uh, here. Again, Grimaldi lines from Italy, Grande Costa di Avorio is the name of the vessel from Palermo, Italy. Supposedly cars on fire in there. Initially there were four firefighters, I think missing in question. They found two or three of them and they're missing one so far. So, almost four hours later. It's like two o'clock in the morning, by the way. I, 
you know, I, I got to work my way back to New York. I got a long day tomorrow, so we'll see. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to give you a little update here. I don't know what's going on over there, but I heard it was not good. But I'm not going to say anything unless I hear it from the right people. Um, and I also heard that the mayor's coming, so those two pieces of information together, you know, it's usually not good. Uh, there's still active fire in there, not a lot, but they're working to get it out. That's the update. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna try to zoom in this spring on top. The fire spread to the top there, or, uh, I don't really know exactly where the fire was, but they just sprayed. Let's see if they spray again. Uh, they still have active fire. It's been confirmed by a friend that works for one of the departments here. And also, I I don't wanna, if you look closely, you can see the water right around the bottom part there. Let's see if they raise it again. And the glow, as you can see glow, there's the water. You see the water to your left? Supposedly the mayor's coming and all that. That's usually not good. There's the water. You'll see the water spraying. Let me put this all the way up. Even though I'm very far, you can see it right there, right there. Uh, they're putting water on the fire. You see the members up there. Right there in the center of your screen. There you go. And the, the bulk of the fire is to the left there where the uh, smoke I showed you about 20 minutes ago. Um, I heard that the one person, I believe it's a member, did not make it. I'm not gonna really say anything until they confirm that on their own. But they're moving assets around and they said that they're in the recovery mode. All right, let me see if you can see a little bit more spraying. Not the best picture, not the best quality of video, but the point of that there's an active fire on this Italian cargo ship. Uh, flaring up this is three and a half i said three or four hours later i could actually start seeing a glow right there in the center of your screen uh i believe somebody told me that it moved from a lower floor to the top floor the roof surface of the uh the ship the vessel container to monitor one more thing um it must be really hot in there but that's the least of anybody's problems uh just the task that they have to deal with is more important however out here it's about 80 degrees maybe 82 degrees in extreme humidity so it's like a walking into an oven actually Maybe that's why that fire, look, it's flaring up again on top. You see it up there? The flames, you can barely see the flames, but you can tell they're flames. Uh, anyway, it's very, very warm out. One of those hot summer nights uh, with very little breeze and the high humidity. All right, guys, I walked away for a few minutes and the fire has uh, continued to intensify. I'm gonna zoom in. Uh, I believe it's spreading up there. I don't have comms for here, but the glow is, you know, getting much bigger. up a 
little bit further. Right up there. It goes and it comes, it goes and it comes. There goes the water again. There's the water. There's your fire flaring up to the left. get out of here soon so I'm gonna continue to wait for an update and then I'll let you guys know all right guys uh, I'm getting very very soupy very sweaty very dirty this fire continues to um, reignite flare up they got two lines stretched up there both lines in operation they still can't get a handle of the fire uh, it's I think almost it's past three o'clock in the morning I got to see my doctor tomorrow I gotta drive back to Manhattan an hour I still gotta feed the stomach you guys know the routine um, or sadly uh, I believe one of the members didn't make it uh, I haven't really heard any of the details. I haven't heard anything official, but from the talk of the town. And um, point blank, I don't know all the details, but the fire continues. As you can see in the center of your screen, the smoke is still dark gray and black. I believe somebody said there's up to 5,000 cars in there. And this fire started four and a half hours ago and uh it's still going they released some of the units there you can see both lines in operation basically the uh, silhouette the outline of them that's one line there the other one will pop up there's the other one still the fires to the left on the top floor now they said that this fire started lower than that the, one of the decks below i don't know any of the details i don't have the comms but if you look to the center of your screen on top here, you'll see the glow going up and down, back and forth. So, um, they released some of the units. A lot of the units that were around here have been released. The FDNY chief car is right there in the center of your screen. FDNY squad eight's second piece is over here. Uh, I forgot what that was, uh, Marine unit right there. I believe uh, FDNY Marine 9 took up. I don't see its blue lights. And we still have the rebreather over here. They went in a long time ago. Uh, there was no uh, use of that yet. And uh, Rescue 5 is over there. Squad 41 from the Bronx was coming, but they, uh, I think they returned them. Uh, back to quarters They're trying their best um, I don't know if you guys saw my car fire at the foot of the Manhattan Bridge they had to use over 16 five gallon canisters of Foam and that was for one car um, I don't think that they're using foam. I would have heard about it but either way there it is still going on four hours probably four and a half hours to five hours later and on a different level than what according to sources it started um nobody has really come out here from inside for the longest rescue five is right around there i showed it to you guys earlier I think Marine 9 is still there, those blue lights towering up there. Um, but check it out now.
The smoke is intensifying. It's getting darker, grayer, and blacker. It's no longer white smoke. And of course, I apologize for not having a better angle, but there is no better angle. If I was at the foot of the ship, you'd be able to see nothing. There's no buildings to climb over here. Uh, there's no real operations to see. It's all the way up there. That's about 10 or 12 stories high, maybe more. Um, and like I said, uh, I may not have said, uh, there's 5,000 cars in there. So if this gets out of hand, this is going to be a long duration incident, maybe days or so. I don't know. I don't even know of all the details that I have. Uh, given you are all entirely accurate, but, um, and I don't know what Squad 8 is doing in there with Rescue 5, I don't know the details. So, um, on the way back to Manhattan, we'll continue to monitor, we got a hand radio, we're going to continue to monitor it. For you guys oh look at it it's getting very very dark and heavier smoke pushing now I'm gonna go talk to Skylify and see what his idea of taking up is I don't know where he is he's somewhere gallivanting around and uh, I'll come back with a closing clip Okay, there you go in the center of your screen, you see the, the flare up, the, the bright. There's a light back there, but that's not the light, that's the flames. And there's no angle from the other side because I tried it over there. But I'll come back with a closing clip of some kind or what have you. All right guys, they removed somebody from the building. And they're doing a convoy, the engine, uh, police, and two ambulances. Uh, that was not good. Sorry to say, as the fire rages. I saw a flag inside the ambulance, guys. I'm very sorry for this outcome. Uh, I don't have any else really to say. Um, Alright, we're going to leave here. I'm a little bit upset right now. Uh, not the outcome that anybody was expecting. This fire could go either way at this point. If it is true that there's 5,000 cars in there and it's burning to the left here and there's another column of smoke coming out from back here, it's going to be long term. So um, we're going to take up. Uh,
that was docked at the port. Uh, companies responded. They found a working fire on the 10th floor. It was approximately five to seven vehicles fully involved. Uh, the fire quickly extended to the 11th and 12th floor. The members uh, made an attack to an attempt to extinguish the fire. And because of the intense heat, they got pushed back out of the, of the area where the initial fire was. Uh, two firefighters were uh, lost in this act while conducting this action of backing out of the structure. Um, searches were initially made to recover the two firefighters and we were unable to do so. So a second alarm was quickly established and we also called outside rescue companies up and down the, uh, the coast or the east. We also called numerous rescue companies, uh, rescues, uh, UIC, uh, rescue companies from the, the 11 region, the 11 regions of New Jersey, and we also reached out to New York City. Um, several rescue, specialized rescue companies came to uh, this location and they assisted us with uh, primary and secondary uh, searches. Uh, the two individuals were removed from the structure. Uh, unfortunately, um, we lost two members today. This was a tragedy and my heart goes out to the family of each of these members and also the North Fire Department. Uh, I want to thank the outside departments who came to the city of Newark to assist us with this uh, fire. Uh, it was uh, pretty intense and the outside companies in, in throughout the state are in the city and state, state and outside of the state. Are New York City, um, Milburn, Elizabeth, uh, Bergen County, Milburn, Jersey City, and, and, and a whole host of other departments throughout the state. Uh, and I'll be remiss if I didn't thank them all. And we're going to continue to work, we're going to continue to pray for the family of the two members that we lost tonight. service that came out and supported our guys today uh, obviously the fire chief uh, told you that we lost two firefighters today uh, tragedy uh, for us in the city of Newark and, and uh, tragic for all firefighters who know what it means to go into a burning structure and in a danger that that uh, you, you're going to have to experience when you do so uh, the fire is still happening now as a matter of fact the fire is not out the fire is still happening we still have Agencies and guys inside now still trying to put this fire out in, in, in this boat. It's about 5,000 cars on a boat just to get a perspective of what we're talking about here. It's a very huge structure uh, that these, these guys had to breach. Uh, uh, and in the process, we had two calls for two maydays and we had a response from fire service companies all over the state who came here to help us uh, look for uh, lost fire guys from the city of Newark who unfortunately did not make it this evening. Our prayers go out to them, to their families, uh, to their brothers and sisters in the fire department uh, who fought beside them tonight uh, and many prob probably many fires before this one. Uh, I saw the kind of acts of bravery and camaraderie today that's unparalleled. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's very, very, very traumatic for all of us here in the city of Newark, and we ask everybody to pray. Pray for the city of Newark, pray for the firefighters here, pray for the families that have lost a loved one, loved ones in this struggle. Uh, and we're gonna continue to do what we can to put this fire, this structure out. Uh, and I, again, I just wanna thank everybody for coming out and supporting us here in the city of Newark today. Thank you, Mayor. And, uh, uh, can you tell us anything about the firefighters yet? Uh, their names are- Well, we don't, wanna, we don't wanna uh, reveal their names, we wanna talk to their families first. It's like inappropriate to say who they are to you guys without talking to their families first. 
Uh, just had a question in regards. Yep. Had a question in regards to uh, is this a common operation in in the city of Newark? Is it still sh fires on I ships. I don't think this is common, but I'll let the chief talk talk to that. Oh, ship war firefighting is a unique uh, skill, and it's, this is not a common fire for the city of Newark and it's the Newark firefighters. It's in the city, and we have members, brave men and women of the Newark Fire Department that go out, and they put this uniform on, and they're, they, they fight fires and protect home and save life in the city of Newark every single day. And just like, although this is a difficult fire, it's a different type of fire, they're still willing to put themselves on the line for others. This is a unique service that we're in. We love what we do. Uh, and we, we love each and each other. And we protect each other. And it's unfortunate. Time is 0 hours. 0 hours. It's unfortunate when we have uh, you know, loss. This is, this, is, this is a tragedy. This is something that I, as a chief, never want to face. But uh, we have to be there. We have to be strong for the family. Thank you. I'm so sorry for your loss. Chief, can I get your name on camera? Rufus Jackson. And guys, I want to give you a recap of what happened here. Uh, there are 5,000 cars in that building. It's still on fire. Not building that ship. And uh, sadly, they lost two members in the Newark Fire Department. Our prayers go out to their families, their friends their colleagues and everyone involved uh, the two ambulances that you saw before contained a body each of the members may God rest their souls prayers for the Newark fire department all area departments and firefighters across the United States and the world